for gold. Let's say me and y'all should want to open up a store. The store is established, but if we're not functioning in the store, let's say it's still not open. Let's say we don't got the LLC, you know, so we don't have um, the people, you know what I'm saying? We got payroll covered, things of that nature, but at the same time, frame, the doors are not open. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It means it's not active. You know what I'm saying? So this scripture law proves that the Holy Spirit was way before the new covenant. The Holy, the Holy Spirit is separate from the new covenant. The new covenant is an agreement. The Holy Spirit is nothing but wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. When you break down the Holy Spirit, bro, it's nothing but Yahweh, working through Yahweh Shah, and his knowledge is being administered by the angels. Hence, uh, Revelation, the first shot. That's how you define the Holy Spirit. Uh, that's what David said in his prayer, take not the Holy Spirit away from Oh, you. man. Was the new covenant there? No. <laughs> no. No. So it's an agreement with not beautiful. That's it. I'm going to say, they have an old, an old kitchen, right? Yeah. So, but what, what are you guys talking yeah. about? Yeah. So if you prophesied back in the Old Testament, you had the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Back in the mind, man. I mean, you know. Uh -huh. Like you got to deal with words and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Right? You know, when most have to speak the song. That's where Psalms 51 came from. David saw this man prophesying. He saw when, when, when Saul was most holiest. And then when the most high stripped him from that spirit, oh, he was fucked up. That's why he was like, yo, please don't take your spirit away from me. He seen... Uh, Saul, when he had the spirit, and post Saul, when he didn't have the spirit. You see what I'm saying? It's better to be dead than to be walking around here and you've been stripped of the spirit. Yeah, the only thing, Jews are scary, at least he had sense enough to kill himself. Like you see what happened to him. Like, like you said, he's thinking without the Holy Spirit. So Saul was probably, he's seen Saul when he was with the Holy Spirit, probably making wise decisions and everything. He was the king, he got the, he got the Run the kingdom, but when the Holy Spirit was stripped from him, he probably making unwise decisions. You know, his behavior changed, everything changed about him. You can notice it. Right. Countenance, like you said, his countenance probably was dark. You know what I'm saying? When, when the Spirit is gone, somebody, you know, you look at their eyes, their uh, effect, with it, which is their facial expression. So they look at them, you're like, God damn. You know, like you said, then his behavior, fucking up with the decision making and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good point, bro. Like in First Kings, uh, chapter seventeen, verse five. So he went and did according to the word of the Most High, for he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith that is before Jordan, and the raven brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. I'm gonna say this: spiritual power comes with obedience. You read what you just read again. The latter end of it. Yeah, the last one. Um, yeah, like and it came to pass, so like, and the ravens brought him bread and f and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. Uh, bro, bro, bro. Go up. Um, Second King, First Kings, chapter seventeen, verse five. So he went and did according unto the word of the Most High. That's it. That's it. Why do you think Samson? Holy Spirit. Because he didn't know who the Lord told him to do. That's it. He disobeyed. That's it. The, the, Samson did not lose his uh, Holy Spirit because yeah. his hair was cut. Oh, he broke the agreement. The agreement was broken, then the most sour removed the spirit from him, man. That's, uh, right. Yeah. that's right. Oh, man. Go into it, bro. Yeah, that's uh, 1 Samuel 15. You know, he's supposed to kill off Akad and Amakai. Mm -hmm. Take nothing away from us, man. It's just 
listen. <clears throat> listen. If a brother come to you, say you tripping, listen. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he told me, <clears throat> if it's one person, one, or when it's two, three, four, it's definitely you. If you got motherfuckers at work, three people saying something about you, look into it. Although it's from a carnal version, you still got three witnesses against you. You know what I'm saying? But when it's brothers, when you got two or three brothers, man, look, you fucking listen, yo. I'm going to say with two or three, three of guys in my name, I'm in the midst of them. So if you got two, three brothers talking to you, then that's the uh, the Holy Spirit speaking to them brothers directly at you, man. Because we are ambassadors, Lord, not only when we talking to the other nations, uh, uh, preaching the highways and byways, that's in the midst of uh, uh, talking to brothers, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And the correction, I ain't going to feel good. Brothers calling you out on some shit, yeah, it hurts. At the same time, friend, they love you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you, hey, you know my conversation, bro. I mean, this dude was like pit bulls and fucking what? Fucking pit bulls. Who are you? Dolan? Chihuahua? I'm a master. <laughs> I'm a master. Okay, he a master. Yeah. So, I mean, we, but you know, yeah, you get your point off, and you know, the brother, he's like, he's my up, you he tell me chill out, I gotta shut the fuck up. But at the same time, friend, I trust this man, I know. That he has my best interest. But Yash, come to me, I know Yash got my best interest. Tell the one, if you pull me to the side, you have my best interest. And you gotta investigate that shit. You know what I'm saying? I got to the truth. Yeah. Oh, real quick. Um, first Corinthians 6 and 1. There are any of you having a matter against the brother, go to law for the unjust and not for the saints. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world, and that the world shall be judged by you? Are you unworthy to judge the smallest matter? And according to the law, what are we supposed to do? If I have an issue with a Tazim one, I'm supposed to go to a Tazim one, right? And if a Tazim one don't hear me, then I'm supposed to go do what? Get to the There you go. That's it. That's it, man. Yeah, I remind me of what your house, uh, what, what Solomon prayed for, um, praying for the, the wisdom to judge the people of Israel, you know? Instead of praying for anything else, he prayed for the wisdom to be a righteous judge. And so when he prayed for that, what happened? Let the Most High be returned. The Lord granted him everything. He granted him his wish, and then he granted him uh, everything that he did that for. Blessed. Blessed. Matthew 6 and 33, basically. He first came to see all these things from the end. That's it, bro. This is good, man. And if I can uh, mail back, um, <clears throat> just, just to add to something other than what he's saying, through the spirit, um, well, he, he, he made a point. He said, uh, we got one job, which I took that as we stay here, going back to what I said, we just about keeping it simple. Like you, you may see uh, certain brothers, you know, put a lot of videos, you know, we different brothers though. Like now, we here in a church, spiritual marketplace, we really to instill things in each other, but then we still different brothers too. Right? So I can't carbon copy myself after this brother, after that brother. But we are to learn from each other because what can I take from this brother and apply it to my life? And this brother's good with finances. I'm fucked up in that area. Okay, I can learn from that brother with that. Or, you know, it's other things. Okay, this brother gets his prophecy. I can learn from him in that area. You know, et cetera. And I'm, and I'm just saying that because, um, you know, as Ray Millstone in the spirit, we're known as like the, the, the village of camp. You know what I'm saying? But basically, like, we're here to help others, to help you uh, really focus on what the Lord wants you to do, right. to pour into your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like the brother said, the Lord said, hold fast what you have. That's what the Lord gave you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Dude? You know, we, we can uh, help water you, but the Lord, he get an increase. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 This yeah. is uh, Proverbs 27, verse 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Yes, and, and then what the brother said too, like, okay, like, Yash, for the spirit of Hashem Hashem is a big lie. He puts out multiple videos, right? And that's cool. And you may have a brother B, may do three or four a week, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? The problem is, is when you got the talent and you're not using it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, at the end of the day, if the Most High has gave you the talent to, to publish a video daily, do it. If not, but you don't do it just like, I'm going to, 
put out a video to keep up with El Kazako or Yashua Shaquat or a Taz one. No, you do it when the spirit hits you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time frame, like your mindset should be like, okay, when you publish a video, I need to be, what's, what's the next video? You see what I'm saying? You gotta be in that fucking zone, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's no excuses. And the thing about the most high is, when you don't put him in the center, don't start on moving shit, he gonna start to take whatever got your goddamn attention, he gonna start removing that shit. If it's your mom, he gonna remove. If it's this house you work, is he gonna remove? He jealous out. And he's a jealous, and jealous in the uh, Hebrew means to be shut out. Yep. The most high when everything shut out when it comes to him. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, it's so like, it's like, it's like, you know what I'm it's like whatever you put in front of that righteous sacrifice is gonna become that sacrifice. That's it. You know? Just That's like it. Like that, That's you know? it. You don't do it to keep on somebody, but you can do it. We got do it. If your line is four or five videos, just be be active, man. Be active. Because I mean we can do other shit every day. You go to the gym every day. You know, we can hustle on the side every day. Yeah. So you mean to tell me we can't get a most out 10 minutes, 15 minutes? You know what I'm saying? Even if you gotta get up early. Look, I got this pussy ass, punk ass talking man. So now Nigga in my time, so now I have to go to the arts and crowd room and shoot a video. You know what I'm saying? But it's, that's what you gotta do. And it's no excuses, man. Yeah. If the most I gave you that, like I said, don't do it just to be saying that I'm getting all the spirit gotta be on you to do it. But if you can do it, fucking do it. It's not wrong with it. Because then I'm a brawny poor. So when you and Jake in trouble, all the temptation, and y'all shot him, like, yeah, man, he, he's good. He's good. You know? Because the brownie points, you just trying to appease somebody to have that faith. That's all it is. You know? It's more like the fight with you, too. Yeah. It's like, you don't make excuses like, you know, you get it done. Yeah. Well, I had COVID, goddamn it, for two weeks. I ran a fever for 10 days, right? The spirit out my shit on shot. Really couldn't even do nothing. I would do a video, and then, you know what I'm saying, once the video was over, then, you know what I'm saying, that demon would hop back on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I had to start over about 10 or 15 times, because you know you got the plane, right. you all up in your shit, but at the end of the day, man, like the most high, hey, that's what he wants, man. He wants you when you're down to produce, man. You know? Um, you know, the brother's quiet, he always put some quotes. And I, I told him too, I, every time he posts a quote, I scream, I got like 263 of his quotes every day I can get them. Uh, one of them he had posted, it, it said, Hey, you know, I'm here jump up. Dr. Mama said he was Marcus Rayleigh's though he was posting the quotes. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, tell me, tell me, hey, what did Dr. Mama say about Marcus Rayleigh's? Now you just saying like, you know, sometimes you be going through in the spirit, when you wake up, you know, gotta deal with this, you know, this hell hole. Then you be saying quotes, you like, man, man, fuck Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> 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 I like you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the ones he had posted, it said self-discipline, which is the spirit, is when you, when your conscience tells you to do something and you don't talk back. So going back to what you said about the, about the spirit telling you to do videos. That's it. You know, you, you, you might be something that's hindering you or a distraction, but you don't talk back, you don't follow the spirit. That's it. Because you could be on fire. You know what I'm saying? About two or three days, man. Look, one, you know, one day you may put out about four or five bids. You just be in the spirit. And then the next day, you know what I'm saying? You kind of, uh, I can't, I don't got no topic. You know, and bro, I remember years ago, this elder man, he was like, man, uh, you know, man, basically, I think he was going through with an elder. He was like, man, it's the most high deal with me. And you know, and as you go on the truth, that question don't come up. You know, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You be like, man, man, I don't got no topic for a video. You know, man, I feel like I'm off in the spirit. You know, I'll him, I'll shine, get him with me, but then you just pray to him, he gonna open you back up, man. You know? Yeah. This thing is beautiful, bro. And this uh, Ecclesiastes 35, start at 7. The offering of the righteous make it the ultra fat. What's the, what's the offering, Joshua? Read it again. All right, uh, please ask the 35 and 6. The offering of the righteous make the altar fat. So who would be the righteous? Go deeper. Go deeper. Who would be the righteous? There you go. Who's the servant? Give me a name, bro. Who's the servant? Who's the servant? 
who the servant is. You are the poor, poor servants. Who are we? Yeah. We go yeah. with, who are we though? The hopeful, what are we looking for? The hopeful oh, what? Hopeful that, but what are we? What's our title though? The prophets. Prophets. Yeah. They, they, I was going to say that I, I want to say something. You, you, you see that in the scripture. Like, until that his servants, the prophets, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. to help, you know. Yeah, the wild, the wild. So, if we're the prophets, read that again. Okay, it says the offering of the righteous make it the altar fast. So, the righteous is the prophets, right? Then, what's the, uh, read that again one more time. Okay, the offering of the righteous. What's the offering of the law? If we're the prophets, what's, what's our offering? Our prayers. No. Works. Then, what's the works? Mm -hmm. uh, videos, reading, prophesying. And you it. But, like, you know, we always instilled in us. Hey, you know, we we put out a lot, but you still gotta make time to point to you, because if not, you're gonna be redundant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta constantly read and watch videos to, to continue to grow. But that's it. We're the prophets, the righteous offering is going to work. That's it. Make your body clean up, walk on that. Clean that up. He wanna walk on. <laughs> All right, and it says, uh, and the sweet savor thereof is before the Most High. What's the sweet savor of Yami Yah? What's the sweet savor from a spiritual standpoint? I, mean, I guess our prayers. Sir. Okay, what else though? I'm looking for something else. You do it all the time. Okay, the sweet savor thereof is before the Most High. So let's break this down. The righteous is the prophets. The offering is what? Doing the work. So we doing the work. What's the sweet savor to the Most High? Obedience. Obedience? Yeah, but I want something else. I sacrifice. But what's the sacrifice? Time. A time, but what else? Making your body. A body. A that's what I'm preaching. Mm -hmm. When you preach, the, that's, that's basically. A sweet that's, savor. That's the sweet savor. Mm -hmm. Romans 12 and 1. Yeah. We're the living sacrifice. Yeah. So you don't get your time and energy going into the work. That's no sacrifice. Yeah. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but like the other one said, that's that's been like a, a key point too. You know, which I had to learn. Make sure you point it to yourself. Because you can be like, like this bottle here that got a hole in it. You know, it's like a leaking vessel. Because you know, you, you, you put out, oh, what are you putting in? It's just leaking out. Ain't nothing gonna be left. Because yeah. cause you're doing this for your own soul salvation too. Now of course, it's gonna say you're gonna say those that hear you, but you hey um uh, I gotta quote the other bishops. It, it's 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 a uh, a selfish walk, but it's a selfish walk too. Like you doing this for the Lord's people, but also so you can be saved. You know, because we, we don't have honestly any control out, outside of what happens. You know, to us, I, I mean, you know, so you really doing this for yourself. Like that's showing, you know, Lord, I want to be saved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And for the uh, definition of sacrifice, it goes into destruction or surrender of something. I want to see. That's a body sacrifice. Sacrifice. Okay. Yep. So it says destruction or surrender of something for the sake of something else. That's you. The sake for what? The kingdom of heaven. So you sacrifice you for the kingdom of heaven. That's why when you go to Peter, uh, with Matthew 19, when my man Peter said what? Uh, the, the elder Peter said, uh, we have forsaken we have all. Forsaken all. That means abandoned. Now that doesn't mean that you don't take your wife out or attend to your kids or pay your bills. No, you just put the truth first and do what you're supposed to do. Now when you're putting them in primary and you're not doing, I mean, when you put them primary as your focal point, and when the truth is secondary, that's when the most high gonna move. You see what I'm saying? But as long as he's centered, bro, ain't nothing wrong with doing it. If you wanna take your woman out, there's nothing wrong with this shit. If you wanna go chill or do something with your kids, go to their kids, there's nothing wrong with that. But you got to keep the most high front and center. You ain't missing camp phone, right? Now, now don't be stupid. Now, if they stranded as you go into camp, you may go, uh, Running a little late, man. My wife got a flag, gotta go and take care of it. No wrong with it. But when she's like, babe, I wanna go to the symphony around camp time, you know what I'm saying? You bitch, you want to be shooting in the gym? <laughs> when, you, uh, <laughs> when you put something before you, how about you, me, I'm shy, it's like you already violating the first commandment. 
you know, because you're making that your priority. So that's pretty much you're making that your God, because that's what you're putting your vital time towards. Yeah, you offered that as your sacrifice. As a sacrifice. You know? All right, so this is Ecclesiasticus 35 and 7. It says, the sacrifice of a just man is acceptable, and the memorial thereof should never be forgotten. So, Rose, when you teach and preach it, that's a sacrifice, and your memorial is what? Well, we will, we will become living legends in the kingdom of heaven. There's going to be a book about Yashavon, Yami Yah, priests of Yash, Halak, Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? We just stick to it. Bro, we, I mean, bro, this penny, man, bro, this penny is the kingdom of heaven. This is a fucking, bro, this is a, bro, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, really is, uh, to, be a, uh, to be a part of the 144,000? Yeah. Bro, and even in the kingdom of heaven, bro, the one third, it's gonna be levels to it. You think the one third of Israel don't have like a, uh, well, not, not the one third, but two thirds of Israelites don't have access to chariots? No. Certain stuff we gonna get, like LeBron and Michael Jordan. Can we all just go to them right now? Uh, it's always gonna be the same thing in the kingdom of God. Yeah, it's exclusive. It's gonna be exclusive. Yeah. You know, people are not gonna have access to us like that, man. Right. And rightfully so. It's really starting now. I know mean, you're in the spirit. Yeah. You know? Like you said, it starts now. They don't have access to the truth. And, you know, the Lord blessed us with access to the truth. You know, so like you said, it starts now. Yeah. But then, also, look who's out here. Yeah. You know, showing you, like, really, he's, he's cutting us off from the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a matter of fact. Yeah. And even on, uh, the movie, even on that movie, Black Panther, you know, they show you, like, a difference between the upper echelon of those uh, inhabitants and also, the, you know, the regular working people. That's it, yeah. But, you know, of course, our people are not going to be working in the kingdom. Right. You know, but it shows you the difference between yeah, the two yeah. classes. Yeah. You know? It's going to be different levels, man. Mm -hmm. they, they ain't going to die. They all going to be good. Yeah. But to see Lamar, man, you ain't just going to have access to Lamar. To see uh, Prisa, I mean, see how the you ain't going to have uh, access to him like that. Yeah. Hey, that sound like, like your work for big company. Mm -hmm. You don't see your, your head about. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But I see mine all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we we told him that, you know, in the end, what we want is uh, Psalm 55. It says, gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. That's right. And that's, start, that's talking about us as a nation. But from a spiritual sense, we don't want to do this now. Two-thirds of our people chilling, bro. What the fuck this man talking about going to uh, what, passport brothers just to fuck up our whole shit now. You know what I'm saying? Going to California. <laughs> ready to get biting out of? Huh? Ready to get biting out the office? Yeah, right, man. Put anybody, somebody else in? If anybody is voting right now, <laughs> they going to hell. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. They going to hell, man. You don't see Satan, man. Hey, what else Apostle Tar said back in the day? Uh, they used to tell them, you yeah, know, uh, was it was a lost one? So somehow you get to hear go get a, a big pitch for it. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you look at poking ass. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, yeah. oh my bad. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. This is Luke chapter twenty two, verse twenty eight. You are they which have continued with me in my temptations. This is how shot, you know, talk to the disciples, you know. This is going into the time of the Passover. Pretty much, you gotta see it. Like, in the room, and he telling them, okay, look, y'all continue with me in my temptation. Because Yahusha was being ridiculed, he was hated, they wanted to kill him. But the disciples were still hanging around. Like, we gotta go through that same thing. Like, the name of Yahusha is gonna be demonized in the earth. And we're gonna be known for hanging around Yahusha in the spirit. Right? But he was telling them, you are they which continue with me in my temptation. You know, when I was hated, you were dealt with, you know, for this. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father had appointed unto me. Yeah, so Yahweh Shah has been given everything. You know, you gotta understand, like the heavenly father, when he brought Yahweh Shah forth, you know, the first thing he told him, you know, as for me, you know, I give thee the heathen for possession and the other most parts of the earth. 
for the heresy. And that's what Yahweh Shai going to divide up with, with his men. Because like tonight, it felt like we was making a covenant with a king. You know? Like we making a covenant like this is because like when you go into the ancient world, this is how kings would make agreements over wine and feasting. You know? And you would join houses, you know, with the king. You would join your house with the king through a feast. You know, and this is what we doing now. So the thing now is just to continue. We have a shot all the way into the end, and he's going to appoint us in his kingdom. You know? Thank you, bro. Since you said house, and what's the scripture in Joshua? Yeah. You get your house in order. Yeah. Yeah. Your house starts with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you. I can do food. That ye may eat and drink at my table. That you may eat and drink at my table. I said, everybody's not going to be doing this. Going to be able to eat and drink with your house shot. Because we eating and drinking with your house shot now. You right in. You know? Yeah. So everybody ain't going to be able to be at those tables with your house shot and make, you know, decisions for existence. Mm -hmm. You know, like, this is what we're being bred to do. Just like the Bun always say, that's why, like, when you order your day to day, that's you pretty much practicing. You order your realm in the kingdom. You know? Because you're going to be over the treasury over this realm. You're going to be over the agriculture. You're going to be over the economy. You're going to be over the civil affairs. So the Lord put us in a situation where we got to manage these things now, not day to day. But that's just us practicing on running around when he appoint us a portion of his kingdom. That's right. You know? That's right. That's right. Yeah. In my kingdom, and sit on thrones, thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So we want to see the table. Yeah. Everybody like body going into, everyone is not going to be at the table with your house shot. You know? Like, there's going to be, hey, your house shot going to be summoning brothers, you know, in groups, or he going to be, you know, however he got it. I know it's going to be a room for the, have a meeting with the whole 144,000. Then you're going to have, you know, like he used to break off with James, John, and Peter, you know, which, at the end of the day, even when you go to uh, High Priest Ariyah, uh, uh, you know, Jake playing the dangerous game, man, because that's a great chance that this your house shot best friend. No, it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, we believe it. So, you know, this is what we're this is what we doing as we, you know, as we partaking, you know, in this past. So, man, we were making an agreement. We are constantly renewing that agreement with the king every year. You know? I'm going to say this. Ain't no way the most high and give that man that type of spiritual information and not to be dealing with him. Right, yeah. This man created through Spirit of the concept of the, trip, the 12 trial sign. The salutation we do. Mm -hmm. The name, that came from him. Now, if you're dealing in the spirit, it only makes sense that Zechariah, the third chapter, was talking about him. Mm -hmm. But I remember back in the day, I never said nothing to nobody. I was always wondering about his age, like how is the most high gonna do it? Because I believe that's him, but I'm like, yo, so is he gonna take it off now? But look, by him dying or having a mercy, uh, a mercy death, he's still out of those dirty garments. Yep. Oh yeah, I gotta tell y'all uh, uh, something. So long story short, um, General Yahana got um, priest area of uh, uh, elder Ariel's uh, garment. And so they would, somebody had told <laughs> Pastor Tahar on his page. And Pastor Tahar was like, yo, that's that dirty garment. <laughs> 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 yo, that shit was super funny. He said, yo, that's the dirty garment. He got that girl, I don't want that garment. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, your honey, yeah, I've been having this garment for 40 years. I'm gonna wear it in the in this castle. So, so the cut little boy, he's like, no, that's the dirty garment. It's that rock on the chocolate. Go ahead. It's fitting. Uh, it's fitting. <laughs> yeah, a little short hair. <laughs> and then if you think about it, like, you just speaking as a man, yeah. how you know, how you know, John, because he got so much of a portion of the truth. He got a heavy portion, just like John the Revelator did. You know, John got a heavy portion. And you think about it. Can I stop you? You got it. Quick quiz. Who was John the Revelator? Who was John the Revelator back in ancient times? 
What profit fits the profile of John Revenue? Daniel. Daniel, yeah. Daniel. I don't know if you take the food name, John. I know, man. Them boys don't be playing that. Yeah. Daniel was John Revelle. Yeah. Which was Papu Zara. Yeah. If you can receive that spirit, we don't teach that. Yeah. But that only makes sense. Yeah. And then you think about like the portion that John got yeah, John uh, with the priest already on head. Like, because you, you got friends, like we all in here now. But your best friend, you're going to always tell him more. Yeah, you know, you always going to, he going to always know more about you than anyone else. You know, it's just how priest already out there knew more about, you know, the single man, you know, than your house shot than anyone else. You yeah. know? They're speaking of the man. No, yeah. it's, it's true though. And going back to uh, what I said, we, we, we don't push it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, that I already being him and stumbled by. Yeah. When you, yeah. go, you deal with the book of Revelation, also the book of the prophet Daniel, that's so similar. Mm -hmm. You know, like the, the, the prophecies of mine, like it, it will make sense that would have to be that man. Yeah. And um, speaking about the man back to Yahshua, John being the disciple. Whom the uh, loved the most. When you read in uh, certain parts of the book of Daniel, that, like the Lord came to Daniel right. and said, You know, thou man, the reign of love. Yeah. You know? He came to him. Yeah. And you think about this, since you were saying that, the image. Daniel spoke of the image, right? Dealing with the, um, the faction of the Babylonian Empire and the kingdom, and then the image now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which was John the Revelator. So it only makes sense as a system. Yeah, I'm saying, when you think about another spiritual point, they all died in order. Like you had uh, James, which that would be uh, high priest uh, Yaiqua. You had um, Peter, yeah. which that would be Shot. King Mashat. You had John. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. You know? They all passed in order. And going back to King Mashat, one of the brothers made a good point on the coming board, uh, Possible Bar. He was going into uh, First Kings, the first chapter. You know, it goes to how uh, King David, when he was at his old age, and he brought that young damsel to his bed, what happened? No heat. No heat. So back in the old one West days, King Masha, when he was in his old van, he didn't have no heat. Oh, boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's some similarities of it, yeah. you know? Yeah. Just, uh, just spiritual yeah. things. He said they wouldn't even help King David. No, they wouldn't help King Masha. That's right. Nate, that nigga Nate. Yeah. Nate. Hey, they, they got some blood. Yo, they brought. Yo, I, I don't salute. You know what? Yeah. Let me, let me turn on. I talk to them sometimes. Let me just see how we're going to do it. Go ahead, squad. That's it. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking until I got going back to John. It was just making me think about how. Uh, and Dan, Dan chapter 12 told him that he was going to stand in his life teaching the last day. Doing right. the same thing he told John, too. That's right. Uh, John was going to prophesy again. Many kings and nations. And also, too, John, uh, John and Ezra got the, the same vision, but John got the actual number. He understood the number, the number that uh, Ezra couldn't number. He understood it was more than one thousand. He got more of that information. Yeah, yeah. And that's Charlie Seven. Hey, this is you know, some old wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's just like when you make it a mess. Tomb, he stopped yeah. and let Peter go in first. 
mm-hmm. you know, for the order of rank. Even though he was your Howard Shai's favorite, even though he was, you know, him and Howard Shai had different relationships, but he still stayed in order, you know, when it came to order. So, yeah, you yeah. know, order is extremely important, especially in these times when it's just going to be us against the world, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, like since pop- you said that, yeah. so John was whose favorite? Shot. And Peter was whose favorite? Yeah, how, how, you see the difference? That's <laughs> Peter was Yahweh's your how, your man, and John was Yahweh's man. It shows you those two separate entities, yeah. man. You know? But showing it only makes sense. That would be that would be uh, King Masha, High Priest, all right? It only makes sense. Because right. the, the scriptures constantly reiterate those two men, bro, mm-hmm. in That's prophecy. Right. That's right. Like, why they. The Lord got it to where every time they come on the earth, they they there together. That's it, man. You know, it, it makes sense, man. It does. And also too, uh, David was the, the apple of the Lord's eye. That's right. Going into, you know, Peter, like you said, with Peter. That's uh, right. Was the Lord's uh, Yahweh's favorite. That's right. That, that's the only man the Lord ever said something about it like this. You know? That's it. Hey. The apple of His eye. That's, that's hey, that's spirit. Yeah. Called, hey, the apostles brought out when they came my shower when he was on the earth. He always used to say, "When I go to the Most High, He gonna answer." You know, he used to say that all the time, he, man. One, one thing he see, the guy, you know, <laughs> Jay make time and watch some of those older videos. Yeah. He has spirit, like he reminds you of your father. Like, yeah. you know, like when he talked, yeah. but like, he's like the father, like yeah. over a nation. Yeah. Like, you can see him as David, bro. When you listen to him talk, like, you, you can see, like, man, like, that's the connection you got, man. Yeah. Right. You know, it, it's something you can't put in the words, but you, you can see it yeah. you see, when you watch the videos, bro. I remember Apostle Tar said that uh, Mo King Masha had a, a son, mm-hmm. you know, giving his mama hell and shit. And he said he believed that he went to the, when he went to the spirit realm, yep. that he basically asked the uh, Mo Sai to bring his son with him, yep. and his son died. Yep. He, he, he actually died. I don't know if it was a car, was it a car accident in Shaquan? Uh, I forgot how it was. But yeah. Apostle Tar, this was like this was when they had the um, you know the home studio, the end of the world mm-hmm. in the background. But he said, man, I don't believe that. You know, Mo got to the spiritual realm and asked the most high, like, look, bring my son with me. This is man, bro. You yeah. see that on um, the street teaching of uh, Apostle Man this past week? Nah, I didn't see it. When they got to talk about high priest Ariel and the 12 tribe sign, okay. the wind blew the tribe, the, the, the sign down. No way. Mm. Yeah, when they were talking about high priest Ariel and the sign, the wind came blew mm. out and blew the sign down. Mm-hmm. And when they were talking about high priest Ariel. Bro, ain't no way. That's, that's not a man of the Lord. And then with the most high, man, we got to remember, man, like our thoughts are not his thoughts. And then dealing with elders like that, bro, you know, of course, you know, it, I mean, like he went off. Of course he did. But at the same time, friend, the way you can't talk to men, you know, so some men you just can't talk to like that. Like King David. You see how the mercy of the most high put on King David? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Solomon and things of that nature. So as you get older, of course, man, sometimes you get out your wits. But at the same time, Frank, Zechariah the third chapter had to be fulfilled. Yeah, yeah. You know? At the end of the day, that still went his way. That's it. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's a stumbling block. Yeah. You know? I guess Zechariah three, man. But what man of the Lord had in you know, Moses? Yeah. You know. That's right. All, all the way on down. Why did why did why did let me ask you a question, bro? Why did why why does everybody go on? Ultimately, what's the bigger picture? This flesh. Huh? This flesh. This flesh. This flesh. That's it. And so your house shot can be what? Your preeminence. The, the man. Yes. Yeah. You're right. So you going to go off. I'm going to go off. Ariel going to go off. Apostle Tahar goes off. But at the end of the day, it's all about the captain mm-hmm. of our salvation. Right. Your house shot can be dispute. And then you think about it like the way the Lord had it, though. You can tell the Lord did that because. With high priest Ariya, because you listen to Comfy teach, he was trash. <laughs> but you got high priest Ariya over there, like the Lord kind of pretty much just put him in the background. Because even over there with Comfy, like he, he didn't have a major platform where he was just teaching like that. He was like in the background. Yeah. So it was like the most I put him in the background. Because Pastor Hart said he got to the point where he would try to run down high priest Ariya to kind of pick his brain. But then. High priest Ariel was kind of shying away from him. And then that's when Pastor Hart said when well, the spirit started dealing with him. And he was like, and when you look at it like a transition, because Pastor Tahar had to be, 
you know, he had to come into his lot his and order the churches. So it was like the most high to kind of just put Ariya in the background. Because like it wasn't like Ariya was trying to be have this major platform and trying to go against the apostles. It was just like he was just in the in the back. Yeah. You know? That's I was just speaking as a man just looking at it. But it makes sense though. Also, he called up his son. Uh, he went off and the father accepted him back. Then you had a child. The parable he gave was right. prodigal son. Yes, you know, we all go off. We all go off. But then we, we return back to our roots. Right. You, know? Right. you know, that's why I said train up a child the way they yes, should go. Yes, you know, and being in the spirit, you know, you know how child said we once knew this. Yes, right. So now we're returning back to it. That's it. That's it. That's how we go. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, it's Proverbs 24, 16 and 18. It says, a, a, For a just man falls seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Um, it says, Rejoice not when thy enemies. The reason why a just man falls is because he's in the flesh. And at the same time frame, it's all about Yahweh Shah. Right? Get the devil's stuff. Pastor, I said, going back to old school, men got to a point where it was like they were worshiping our God. Like, like they were looking at Aria like the power, and you know, what's going I, on? yeah, that's going off. Aria, that's a highly reverent man. But like I said, that's not how it shot. That's right. You know. Is it one? Uh, it says, "Rejoice not when thy enemy fell will follow." And we know there's two different types of enemies in the scriptures. You got the enemies of your own people and the enemies of, of the other nations. So I'm gonna say you this. That's deeper though. The enemy, when your enemy is falling, it's talking about you got an issue with a brother. Come, come. So let's just say me and you ain't cool no more, right? So you can't really rejoice when I be fucking up and shit because me and you brothers. And you know, you don't have brothers in the truth getting into it and things of that nature. Well, let's say two brothers separate, like Paul and Barnabas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Paul don't rejoice because Barnabas went off. You know what I'm saying? Because right. he's still doing the work. If you still teaching the doctrine, although we separate, you know what I'm saying? We still brother. Yeah, that's the whole meaning of love dying enemies. That's you know? it. Yeah. Just add on to you, bro. Yeah. It says, Rejoice not when thy enemy follow, fail to follow, and let not thy heart be glad when he stumbles. Because that's your brother. He's doing the same shit you do. And that's yeah. how you know the Lord has come out to other nations. Because it, it's, that is a, a celebration when the Lord delivers us from the other nations. When he, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. he destroyed them. Good yeah, listen, see. Is that what? Like the song of Moses? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, Exodus 15? Yeah, Miriam, mm -hmm. yeah. But say, but also, you know, Sirach blesses he that lives to see the downfall of his enemies. Right. So, so <laughs> it gotta be talking about, you know, the Israelite, but like I said, Israelite and truth. Yeah. Right. 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 You know? Right. Right. That's said, why you have to have context. You know, you, you know, for the spirit, you have to read the scriptures in context. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It says, lest the Lord see it and it displeased him, and he turned his wrath, turn away his wrath from him. Mm -hmm. That's, That's it. Yeah. That's it. You closing? Oh, you were recording? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can say this, man. Yeah. 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 Hey, at the end of the day, man, no one can resist the will of the Lord, man. So any elders, even in the past to the present, they went off. It was the will of the Lord, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No one can resist it because Yahweh Shai wanted the apostle to stay up with him in his last hours, right? And they fell asleep. Because they couldn't resist. It was to be done, man. Yeah. But does that mean that they are not men of the Lord? Yeah, no. It, you know what I'm saying? Does that mean uh, high priest are y'all not a man of the Lord? No. Yeah. That was the will of the Lord for him to do what he did. But look what he brought forth before that happened. And Peter denied you three times. Three times. He's of the elect. And he's of the elect. Three times. He's like, hell no. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I was trying to talk. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so the uh, uh, cock, uh, crow three times. You're gonna what? Deny me? Yeah. Roughly paraphrase. Yeah. And he did it because he what? It was the will of the Lord. Because he said, "No, I won't, Lord." Basically, no, I'm not. Yeah. And, and and what happened? That's it. Yeah. The Lord was meant to go through that by himself. Yeah. 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 yeah you might do something about preaching. It was quiet, man. He just was calling out the same. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, hey, the Lord will. Y'all was there for all praises too. Yeah. How will God show me? I'm shot by Shem Kapadash. Hey, brother, honestly. Awesome. 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 Awesome.